off to do the morning chores. Come on, Briggsy. I've already been out once and turned on the sprinkler. I need to move the sprinkler to the next section and then I'm off to let out the chickens and all the other morning chores. Trying to get out here early this morning. Hi, Yoda. Oh, goodness. Such a needy little one. Wow. I hear you, Yoda. Come with me to the barn. Um, so, kids usually come out and help do morning chores. They each have a responsibility each morning. But I was going to show you guys what we have to do every day. And take you along with us today. I'm going to help them out and do a few of these little chores. First, we're going to let out the little chickies. And then go feed everybody. race to the feeder to see who gets there first. The funny thing is, is they have an automatic feeder and the food is already sitting there, but they want us to walk them to the barn. Go ahead. Who's going to go eat first? Yeah. Yoda likes for us to touch the food first. Look. There you go. I don't know. Cats are strange. Excuse me, Yoda. Here you go, Briggsy. You want some? Briggsy, can we some food? That's about how it normally goes. <laughs> but the food is always here waiting for them. They can come and eat anytime they want, but they want us to walk them out here. Sometimes they don't wait if they're super hungry. But usually, it seems like they like to wait. It's kind of funny. And now I'm off to do the pigs and the chickens. I think I'm going to let the chickens out to free range today on the outside. Because <sighs> um, my garden is established enough now that they're not tearing it up too bad. As long as I watch it, they'll be all right. Hi, Hank. Good morning. I'm gonna go let the chickens out first, Hank. Good lord. Hank, take a chill pill. Hank, don't you do it. Don't bite me. He's never bit me, but I'm always so scared he will. Hank. Fine. Porky, you're such a good girl. Come here, Porky. I got yours here, right here. Come here. Come here. We need some rain so that you'll get cleaned off. 
Ooh. Porky needs a good old bath. She doesn't like when we spray her down. She will stand in the rain and loves the rain to wash her off. But if we come after her with a hose, she is not happy. So she runs outside of the reach of the hose. So she's actually pretty muddy on the top. Hank will let us hose him down, which is why his back is nice and cleaned off. But the other ones, or pork, she don't have it. Thing we check for is we check their wallow to make sure it's full of water if it's not we top it off it's looking pretty good i think we filled it up late later last night so it still has plenty of water in it for today because our heat temps are pretty high here today and the pigs do not do well when it's that hot it's also another reason i don't mind leaving all that mud on top of pork because it kind of is like a sunscreen and keeps her from getting burnt um, if she's got all that mud caked on top of her um, because they get lazy and they don't go into the shade. We have plenty of shade spots for them, but they just won't do it. They'll just sit there in the sun and bake and get burnt instead of going in the shade. All right, I'm going to go wash off. bunch of small potatoes. I had a feeling that this year was going to be a bad year because it's been so dry. Uh, it's just been super, super dry here. And I've been watering as much as I can, but it's not the same. Not the same as rain. There's some good sized ones here. That's pretty big. I'll take that any day. So I don't even know that you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me pan you down. I'm just going through and feeling through the dirt. I'll come back through with tools and try to get a little deeper. But right now I'm just trying to get the stuff that's loose on the top and getting the potatoes up. See, that's pretty small. So this will be what's called a new potato. So I have quite a few new potatoes this year. I might, uh, see if I can pull up this whole one with the pota potatoes still on it. There <laughs> you go, there they are. Whole bunch of potatoes, these ones are little. It's a little sad to see that. They're still kind of little. These ones are actually still growing a little bit. So most of these have died back. You can see the yellowing and they're starting to limp over. But I'm also seeing that I could have left them maybe a little bit longer. So maybe I should stop and give everything else a few more days. But these are already loose, so I think I think we're done. Not gonna get much more out. Oh, basket's getting very full. Most of these are a decent size. I don't think that's too shabby for how bad of a season we're having. Some garden years are amazing and other garden years are just absolutely terrible. This one's not, I wouldn't put this one on the terrible list yet. Uh, but it's pretty bad. It's been, everything is so stunted. 
My peppers are all still like this big because the weather has just been so bad. And like I said, even though I water things, it is not the same as rain. And it's been like a month since we've had a real rain. Uh, so everything is not doing well. Oh, God, dirt up my nose. Everything is not doing well at all. Close your eyes for a minute, close your eyes for a second, I won't change my mind. What does getting deep now? I took a short break, I'm back out with a hat upgrade and a child. Come over here, say hi. Kyla's gonna help me, she said it was on her bucket list to help do the potatoes. So, she's gonna help me get the potatoes out. Hopefully we can show you, I'll sh show her without blocking your view of what we're doing. Alright, what we do is you pull up a little bit. How much this weighs? Yeah. The garden is in full bloom, meaning we have tons and tons of vegetables coming out of the garden every single day. So I am in full on preserving mode. Around here, our main way of preserving is by canning. So it seems like almost every other day I'm canning something up. Today it is dill pickles. I have found a good recipe, actually a homesteader friend of mine shared this recipe with me. It is a recipe that uses a low temperature way of boiling the cans so that the pickles do not get mushy and it is the best recipe and I will actually put it in the description for anyone who wants a copy of that because it really is a great recipe. One of the problems with canning pickles at home is a lot of times they end up being mushy and that is just gross but doing it this way, it is so good. 